Welcome back, folks, to Homestead Aquarius. Today's day 17 of my Days Till Spring Challenge. Um, Y'all have seen my videos now, I hope, enough to know that nature means a lot to me. I like to garden, and I like to do it in a way that's respectful for nature. In today's episode, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some of that. Got a little something special for you in the gardening world. Don't know if you can hear what I've got in that bucket. Can you hear that? I know you can see that right now, but can you hear what's in the bucket? It's springtime. Everything's waking up. Oh, it's almost spring. We've got warm weather here in the south. I live up in the mountains, and there's things just waking up and getting ready. Getting ready for summer. Getting ready for spring and summer. Let me just... Uh, let me just put y'all over here. Maybe y'all can hear better. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, they're ready to go, and I am too. Now, let me, let me ask you something. Y'all got one of them crazy uncles or cousins or a friend of yours that um, is going to do something stupid, get himself in trouble. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm not your crazy uncle, not your crazy friend. So when I say, <laughs> here y'all, watch this like they would, Nothing's going to happen to me this morning. Or not, 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 I'm not going to, it's going to be okay. I'm safe. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to get in there and get a couple of these out. I gotta, hold on. Let me put you, let me put you here. Let me get over here and see what I'm doing. You gotta time it right. <laughs> okay, all right. I got a couple. Do not do this yourself. Don't try this at home. Don't want you to get in trouble. These things are wild. They're strong and wild. All right, got them. Rattlesnake beans. That's what we're going to talk about today. Rattlesnake beans. <laughs> yep. I like that. That was a little trick. Um, rattlesnake beans are a food. It's rattlesnake green bean, but we just call them rattlesnake beans here in the south. And they're very popular here. I'm going to uh, plant some today and uh, show you what I do with it. I'm going to do a little test on an episode that I did previously. I'm going to test something out and get that started today. But I wanted to do a little public service announcement for uh, people so that you can keep yourself out of a little bit of trouble or a lot of trouble in nature. Nature has a lot of plants and animals out there. They all work together, all part of her system. And when we remove those from the system, it makes everything um, all, all the weaker for it. Our species have gone extinct. We can never replace them. And their place in nature has been forever wiped out. For every one we lose, for every, every animal and plant that we harm needlessly, well, it, 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 we lose something more of the earth and what's keeping us all alive. Um. The one thing that you want to do, we're out there gardening spring and summertime coming up, you're going to find not just the cute and fuzzy bunnies running around out there, not the pretty birds, the little frogs and everything. You're also going to find the snakes. Many species of snakes here in America and across the world, most of them are not venomous, not dangerous to you at all. It's childish fears uh, that we've got. Um from lack of understanding uh, the scarier looking things to us 
We don't understand them, and they're scary. And uh, that leads us to do some things that get us in trouble and get us hurt, get us envenomated. Um, when you see a venomous reptile out there in your garden or on your property, if you don't want it, you're scared of it or whatever, there's some people out there that dedicate their time to help you and nature out. They will come out and relocate the snake for you. They will they'll capture it and take it off and keep you and the snake safe. Makes you makes you uh, happy. Makes Mother Nature happy. I know um, a lot of people not going to agree with this, and that's okay. I just want to put this information out there for those that that care. Um, on Facebook, you can find the Snake Relocation Directory. It's a free service that these professionals offer. They will come out and help, and, and, and they will remove your snake. If you see a snake, just keep your eye on it. Get in contact with these people. Maybe it's best if you go ahead and join the group before the time comes if you have that situation. Um, another one that uh, is a good one to join on Facebook is um, a group called Wild Snakes. Wild Snakes, education and discussion. You can find them on Facebook. That's a group. You can learn about these snakes. You can learn about, there's groups out there to help you learn about all types of things that you may be afraid of. And once you educate yourself, if you if you uh, learn about these things, they're not as scary, and um, you won't hurt yourself in the process of trying to run away from them or trying to handle it yourself if you're unsure of things. One of the ways that people are envenomated the most by uh, dangerous reptiles is by trying to kill them or catch them in any way, do any kind of harassment to them. You, you're going to have a, a very good chance of getting yourself envenomated and you'll take a ride to the hospital. So check out the groups that I have uh, offered to you. And um, while y'all do, uh, while, and do that later. Uh, I'm about to take you on a trip now and show you where I got these, these uh, crazy, these dangerous rattlesnake beans. They grow like a weed, and I'm going to put them out here. So y'all hang on while I, y'all watch where I go, and while y'all are doing that, I'll change everything over to greenhouse mode. Well, I got got the uh, hygge culture stump done yesterday, and I told y'all we're going to get get a lot of rain coming up next three days is going to be that just a lot of rain rainy chilly day here in late winter almost spring and i'm bringing you along now to on a little shopping trip i'm up here at the blunt county farmers co-op uh, a place that in my youth old rural communities that i used to live in and i live in now um well, farmers co-op that was pretty much the meet and greet place and back then I spent a lot of time in one of them but today I'm up here at Blount County farmers cooperative Got a lot of good things in there and I'm gonna go get some of them y'all hang out with me we're on the hunt for rattlesnakes today I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't mention one of my local groups here in Alabama Alabama snakes, spiders, reptiles, and insects. It's another Facebook group that you can join and help educate yourself. It's a lot of fun when you're learning about nature. Um, there's another um, group out there or service. It's the Alabama snake removers. They will come out and find your snakes as well or catch them and um, uh, take them away from you. Just wanted to mention those two others, but you do a search on Facebook if you're interested. You can find groups on anything. And um, just do that and learn about things. Learn about the animals. Learn about the wild things. These things won't be so scary for you. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that little bit of fun I had. And I hope you hear my message. Um, I hope it helps you. Um, work with nature, not against her. Don't kill everything. Don't get yourself bit. Hope you enjoyed that little shot of the, the co-op there. Now, what I've got here is the grow tub. 
and I'll start being a little quicker about this uh, stuff. Uh, I talk slow, and that causes these things to be longer. But I've shown you these grow tubs before, and uh, a little bit about how to make them. I might have to go back and make another video just for YouTube to show you that. If and some people don't like this idea, but um, got my bottle there. Bottle goes all the way to the bottom of the uh, container, and you put your water in there. It waters it from the bottom, so you're not spring, spraying water all over your fresh seeds that you put to put in here. I got one of these here. All right, I'm going to talk about a few things. What I'm showing you today, this is an experiment to see um, how well these grow tubs do and different ways of doing them. On this side right here, this third of the grow tub, I've got regular potting soil. I got a mixture of two different kinds. You can find them in any stores. Um, just straight up potting soil. This one, or this, this, this side over here, these two thirds, have regular topsoil with the roots and the rocks and everything. I've taken out um, most of the, the big rocks and the big roots and everything. That way you know I ain't got no trick dirt over here. This ain't trick dirt, it's real dirt. This has got the cardboard with holes in it, and I use that as a spacer in here so that I can put the beans out in a uniform manner. Um, but I use this for the spacer, and I'm also going to use this as the mulch idea. Okay, this is going to be like a solid sheet of cardboard in here. Hopefully, you know, that'll work. This side, I've gone ahead and cut up those uh, paper tubes, um, you know, to use as mulch in here. So what we've got here is cardboard. Normally thrown away, but it's got many uses around the homestead. Many uses in your garden and other, other places in life. It builds up pretty fast and it's something that you can use uh, sometimes to do other things with. Got, a, got an old uh, drink bottle there. That normally would be thrown away. I'm going to put it to use here uh, as part of this system. It's going to have a new life and last a long time. That, that'll be here long after I'm gone. That kind of plastic there. These cheap little seed trays that people get. And uh, it's something that you got to buy. Something that's going to cost money most of the time. It's very thin plastic. And, uh, you know, people use them. They buy their plants in it. Throw it away after they're done. Well, how about this? How about you save it? Don't throw it away. Use it next year. Buy the plants that you want to. Put them out in there. And uh, go ahead and use it for something else. Get you some pot and soil. Start other seeds in it reuse as much as you can before you throw it away reduce reuse recycle my favorite repurpose um so anyhow that's enough on that someone uh, i don't know whether i bought some stuff in in that or somebody gave them to me i've got people that give me those so i don't have to uh, so i've got them you know they're gonna throw them away i save them and um what i did Took this piece of cardboard here with my spacer and just run my run my uh, marker down in here and made a hole. Now uh, there's different levels of people out there gardening. You know the ones that just started, the ones that are old hands at it and know everything in the world there is to know. I'm somewhere in the middle, uh, so I'm explaining things. You know on that level, there are also uh, we're all on different levels of the economy. Some of us got plenty of money, and they can go out and buy everything in the world that they want, uh, high-dollar stuff, and that's fine. Some of us, especially all around the world, don't have that opportunity. They're, they're out there struggling in abject poverty and starvation. And so they will find things like this like and repurpose things, uh, garbage. Uh, it's free for them to pick up, add a little dirt, add a little soil, add a little seed and a little bit of sun and they're growing food. Same thing anyone can do. Now, well, something else I wanted to mention, this has got little divisions in it. And if I had more time today, I was going to do something. Um, these are not divided. They're all in the same tub. What I may do is come in here and cut into the soil 
some uh, divisions and slide a piece of cardboard down in between these so that it has that effect so that the roots are separated and they're easier to come out of this dirt and transplant in my garden uh, later after they sprouted. What I'm going to do with this is see uh, about the mold, the fungus, any kind of issues like that. If you, um, if you do this this way, is it going to cause a problem with any moisture that's built up and causing any kind of issues of rot or decay in any matter? Um, with natural soil, it's got all the spores in there that's waiting to wake up. It's got mold and fungus in there. And when you're, and that's what you want in your garden. You want the fungus. You want that fungal life. But a lot of times when we're starting out seeds for plants, that fungus will cause problems. And it'll kill your seeds. So we've got potting soil here with none of those, um, you know, natural spores sitting in it. I'm sure it's got leftovers. Uh, spores don't die easily. So it's probably got some in there, but it's just natural and as you see it here. This is loaded with Mother Nature. And the the other seeds that are going to come up out of here that we don't want, her seeds are going to come out of here. This is going to keep it mulched, but solidly. This is going to have fluffy mulch to it, you know. Um, we go ahead and start dropping some of these seeds in here. You know, fig, fig, looking on screen, on my screen here, to see where my hand is so that I keep it in the shot is more difficult than you would think. All right, let's get this. Come here. That's that left hand knowing what the right hand is doing thing I was talking about. Yep. All right. Just enough to give you an idea. These videos can get real long, uh, as I found out. And it, there's a real trick to keeping short to the point. And I believe I'll have that knack. I'll, I'll get the knack of that soon, of how to uh, keep these a little tighter for y'all. I truly appreciate everybody that's watching my videos, um, everyone showing me support for my efforts and what I'm doing to bring in you things. It really means a lot. And that's no joke. Um, all your likes and shares, comments, especially the comments. I love to hear from people. Um, it's a community of people out there online. And uh, they're all, you know, trying to help each other. So leave me your comments, your likes, your shares, and especially your subscriptions. Um, it means so much at the end of the day when I've done this to see, you know, whether, I, whether what I'm doing uh, is helping somebody. And you just don't know how much that means. Let me cover this up a little bit. We'll sprinkle a mulch on the top of it. And I don't know what that's going to do. But um, rattlesnake beans are a pretty easy bet when you're, um, when you're gardening. It's a strong plant. Um, and they're a very good food producer. It's about getting those calories in us. Uh, there's a lot of, lot, lots of stuff like that that want to grow. Got them calories and green beans are a wonderful food. It's one of my favorites. I like beans. I like beans of all kinds. But um, we'll sprinkle a little mulch. And I'll clean this up, make it look prettier off camera later. I'm not going to have enough of this to completely cover it. And, uh, that'll keep the sunlight from hitting all of Mother Nature's seeds and spores that are ready to take over in this natural soil here. So I'm hoping this works out as a good thing. And maybe what I can do is if you, if you're like me somewhere in the middle and, or, or, um, don't have a lot of money to throw out for everything that's expensive. Maybe there's stuff around that will help you garden in your home. If you just look at them a little differently. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of ways to save a dollar. And what I've used here is basically trash. And it's in 
one of these tubs that I've talked about so much. They're so useful for so many things. Like I said, too, um, these are most of them if you find are going to be food grade. And since it's food grade, it's okay for you to grow your beans in it. <laughs> you can grow your beans in this. So this is one way I'm going to show you today here on Homestead Aquarius. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. I didn't do the official thing, so we have to do it now. Uh, let's go with a, a one and a seven. Today on Homestead Aquarius, on 17 days till spring, is another little tip for you from Homestead Aquarius to help you garden and save a little money. All right, well, y'all be good. And uh, I hope that y'all have had a great day today, and I hope you have a better tomorrow. And I'll see you back on day 16 of my Days Till Spring Challenge. Y'all have a great evening.